Today, I'd like to focus on some harsh realities that I have faced as a freelance content creator here in Tokyo and how I overcame them. Please allow me to share you my experience if you are thinking of walking a similar path. I have been a freelance content creator in Japan now for the past three years. It's been met with its challenges. I decided to put these challenges or harsh realities into a list of five things that I've had to deal with. So with that, let's jump right into it. A big, big obstacle definitely is Japanese. It's important to speak a little bit of Japanese if you're going to be a freelance creator here in Japan. So you can communicate with your Japanese counterparts and you'll be able to pitch and explain your projects in Japanese. Now, take it if you have partners who can speak Japanese for you, maybe that's okay, but you're also going to have the situations where you'll have a mixed team where a client speaks English and Japanese and by understanding Japanese you can hear what they're talking about and understand what they're trying to say. Learn Japanese, it's essential. As a freelancer, there are times you will be working with a team, however, there are lots of times where you'll be working on your own. Sometimes people don't see your value and what you're really bringing to the table, which leads to sometimes contracts that you have can be cut early. And the thing is, that's just the reality of it. So value. Sometimes people just can't see your value. Now, to overcome that is to just keep on pushing through and keep working. There are things that you work on for your clients, but then there are things that you work on for yourself. Uh, for example, this YouTube channel that you're watching today, this is my place, my outlet, where I can release all my creative energies. And that's how I keep my value up for myself personally. You know that you are valuable as a person. And because of that, you keep pushing and you keep driving yourself forward. So value, it's all mindset. So money, that's another thing, man. Some people expect nothing but the best quality, but then they want to pay you beans for it. I think this doesn't just go for Tokyo, I think this goes for anywhere else in the world. I was tasked to work for this language school and I was going to put together some great training videos and they said, oh, we want to have this, this, and this. And I said, great, we'll do a whole full, full on production for this beautiful training course that they wanted to do. But then when I quoted them the price, they backed out. But the thing is, they were looking for something like this. See this image of this horse? They wanted something beautiful like this horse's ass, but they wanted to pay the doobie sketch price. You know, when it comes to business, you gotta negotiate money. Sometimes people, they don't understand the costs. You're paying for our skill, our equipment, the time that it takes to put into these things. Sometimes people, they just don't want to pay you what you're worth, and that's a challenge. The way to get over it is you learn to negotiate, and you learn to deal with it, and then you can usually find a path in the middle. But some people, you just gotta say no to, and that's just the way it is. The other thing is taxes. You have to pay your own taxes. That means you have to keep a record of all your receipts, you have to keep track of any business expense, and at the end of the year, you need to report all those expenses. If you work for a Japanese company, usually your company will do your taxes for you. At the end of the year, all you do is you sign a piece of paper and boom, you're done. Now, there's two types of ways to do your taxes in Japan as a freelancer. The best thing that I recommend is if it's your first time doing your own taxes as a freelancer in Japan, it's best to talk to a financial advisor or someone who knows how to do it. Because if you do it on your own, you can make mistakes. Now, if you speak Japanese fluently, you could actually go to your local tax office and there's someone there who can actually help you and explain things to you when you do your taxes. But for the most part, those are the things that I found that have been a challenge as a freelance creator in Tokyo is just doing taxes. So taxes, we all gotta pay our taxes. Health insurance. And that's required by law. Everybody should have health insurance. So make sure you go to your local city if you prefer and you sign up for that and you get health insurance. Just so you know, as a freelance creator, health insurance is a little bit more expensive than if you're working for a company and you'll really feel it. It's funny because, you know, they have all these deductions to take out of your check when you're working for somebody, but when you're a freelance and you're on your own, you have to take care of all those expenses by yourself and you don't realize how much everything really, really costs. So just be aware, another thing that you're gonna to have to work on as a freelance creator in Tokyo is you have to have health insurance. So make sure you go to your local prefecture office and you get your health insurance. Subscribe, and I have one more tip to share with you that's not a harsh reality, but a wonderful truth is that as a freelancer here in Tokyo, one of the greatest things you can do is find a team. 
and that is find a good group of people to support you, finding a good network of people who believe in you and who understand you and who are willing to be there for you every step of the way. So that last bonus is make sure that you find good people. Surround yourself with positive people and surround yourself with people who believe in you and get a team. That's the best thing you can do. Thank you for your time today. And if you've watched the video all the way through to this point, let me just say thank you. And I hope you found this information informative and I hope it helped you out a lot. And if you are also starting in becoming a freelancer in Tokyo, creator or whatever you're gonna do, just remember these things. These are some things that you're gonna have to deal with, but hey, we're all in this together as creatives. So just keep on pushing forward, keep on pushing for greatness and you'll make it to the top of the mountain and that's how it's gonna be. So it's getting dark, I'm walking home, it's late. I'm gonna put this video together, appreciate your time. Uh, don't forget to like if you enjoyed the content today and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all my videos about Japan and just living in Japan and just doing things and traveling all around Japan. And with that, I'll see you on the next round.